How much would your life change if you knew every single time someone told you a lie? Even if that someone was you. Lies like you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, you can't own a business, and you definitely will never make more than you did in your old corporate job. Get ready to be proactive, passionate, productive, and oh so profitable in a way you've never before experienced by opening your eyes to the big fat lies. Now, here's the host of Big Fat Lies, business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Oh my goodness. Happy Friday on a very windy afternoon in paradise. Oh, so we're just asking for a love spell to be run on the internet today as it's very windy. And so anyone who's listening just sends so much ease to the internet. And I'm asking my guides and my, you know, beneficial helper spirits to help me with the internet and to be heard all the way around the world. I'm so grateful for this platform called Inspired Choices Network. If you've been following me for a long time, you might remember that I used to have a show called The Audacious Ask, where I did like live readings and uh, business readings and soul readings and ancestor readings and a whole bunch of different groovy things. And then I just wasn't getting, I don't know, it just wasn't juicy for me anymore. It was more work than it was to be, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So think about that in your life, you guys. As we move towards today's topic, I just want to talk to you about what is juicy for you. Like what really makes you want to talk about it and what makes you really feel like your level of competence and confidence in what it is that you want to talk about is there. Like, even if you just like see this need, you know, say you see, um, well, here's some needs that, you know, I don't feel like I have a, a, a high level of confidence and competence. I find that um, I really want to talk about uh, human trafficking, but I really don't know anything about it. And so, you know, I'm just going to send my money to, uh, you know, change.org and a bunch of different places where I feel like they are doing an excellent job with that platform of human trafficking and uh, Pornhub. And uh, there's another, um, I can't think of the, the um, operating power that's really, really gunning for Pornhub right now. Uh, so I just, you know, I always look for places and spaces where my energy feels like it's received and it feels like I have a high level of confidence and competence. And so today's topic is confidence and other big fat lies. Like you may see people out there, you may actually even project that on me. Wow, she's so confident. She shows up, she got her face on, she's got her like beautiful Indian statement earrings on, she's just, she's rocking it. And I'll receive your judgment. That's kind of fun. If you think that I'm like super confident, then great. Please continue to have that reality and hold it in space for me. Um, there are times in my life where I'm not confident. And as I move ahead and as I get experience on this earth plane in earth university, what I notice is I'm more adept at choosing the places where I do have confidence and confidence and competence are like sisters right so it's like the places and spaces where you feel completely competent are the places where you can be confident you guys get that right <laughs> So today, I really want to talk about the places and spaces where you've had the big fat lie of confidence slowing you down and like to have the money and have the influence and have the impact and have the mastery that you've been craving. Do you have to completely be uber confident? And so we're going to talk about that today. And it may be that we're going to have way more fun talking about confidence and competence than you ever thought possible. 
And, you know, one of the things that I super love, and it's one of my super capacities, is noticing the lies that people tell themselves that they have installed on their operating system, whether it's conscious or unconscious, that's stopping them from being happy, stopping them from being healthy, stopping them from being wealthy, and, you know, stopping them from having that deep level of knowing and wisdom. Because you're actually here to do something very, very specific. I can actually show you exactly what it is. And it doesn't have to be difficult. It just doesn't have to be difficult at all, you guys. So if you're asking yourself questions like, how do I get confident? How do I be confident in business? Where's my most confident direction in business? How can I show up differently in business and have that command, have that influence, have that confidence and have people pay attention to me? And then also, how do I create legacy wealth for myself and my family? That's why one of my biggest whys on this planet, you guys, I want females to have legacy wealth. And so if you're like, "Eh, I really don't care about money, I just want to listen to you laugh, then your job, your job right now is to go get five people who are interested in having legacy wealth to come and watch this show with you, listen to me laugh and enjoy the broadcast. Also, I want to draw to your attention the shamanic and the quantum element of what I do. A lot of my broadcast is a transmission. Do you guys get that? It's a transmission. So whatever comes out of my face, whatever comes out of my voice box, whatever comes out of my body and goes into your body and into your aura will help you course correct. It will help you course correct. And so that's the transmission element of what it is that I do as a shaman. And when I work with the quantum field, specifically with wealth. Why? Because when women do well, women do well. You look it up on the internet. The minute a woman feels like she's doing well in her life, she is out there promoting. She's out there using other female services. She gets her hair done. She gets her nails done. She goes to the personal trainer. She goes get some dance lessons or some singing lessons or all of those places and spaces. And most likely she's using other women's services. And so that's why we want women to do well. That's why we want women to have money. Because in this new paradigm where you know, we're equal, we're socially equal, there's still a huge gap in the privilege that's available to men. There's still a huge gap, guys. Men get promoted faster. Still, in 2021, men get promoted faster. It's so weird. And it could be that, you know, the energetics just need to catch up our own confidence needs to catch up, our own ability to um, to say, you know what, go fuck yourself needs to catch up. It's so interesting. I, uh, I read an article on LinkedIn this week where this woman was taking her business public, or no, she was looking for seed capital. Well, not quite taking her business public, but looking for seed capital. And she was nine months pregnant with twins. And she just wrote it on the, um, you know, her team knew this, that anybody who brought up how she was going to look after her children after she gave birth to them was automatically going to be struck off the record for, uh, you know, being able to, to provide seed capital to make an investment in her firm. I can't remember specifically what firm it was, but I just thought that is so bad ass. That's so badass. Like, what if we all decided that anybody who does something that doesn't work for us, we don't turn the other cheek. We don't give them 95 chances to make amends to us. We're just like, "Hmm, thanks for giving me more information about you, Chet, and just cross them off. You know, it's so interesting, this lack mindset that women need to give men so many chances. I think it's bad for them. 
I think it's bad for you. I think it erodes your confidence to have all of these people coming at you with their various points of view about how you as a woman need to do your life and have your business. And so we might be talking about that today. <laughs> just maybe, just maybe. So this is how the show goes. So in the first segment, this is a 55 minute show. Of course, most times I could probably talk for six hours on the topics that end up coming through. So in the first segment, I'm going to introduce to you what it is that we're really talking about today. And then in the second uh, segment of the show, I'm going to talk about the mindset. I'm going to talk about the mindset of confidence and some trips, trips, tricks and strategies that you can have to adopt a more confident self self-centered point of view about confidence and so self-centered is not what we think it is guys self-centered is being inside your own energy field self-centered you should try it be more self-centered and see how your life works out not being self-centered is being a servant to other people's realities So you're going over, you're like shopping in other people's realities to see how you can fit in so that you can have more of your life. Guess what? Get out of their realities, get back into your own body and adopt a self-centered point of view and see what happens. See what happens. See who falls all over themselves to do business with you when you are in your own energy field. You're doing the things that make you feel confident, make you feel competent. And so in the third segment of the program, we're going to talk about energetic mastery and emotional mastery of confidence. Energetic mastery and emotional mastery. Because if trying to be confident is draining you, we need new new energetic mastery. And if trying to be confident is making you feel sort of flimsy, then you need new energetic mastery and emotional mastery. Emotional mastery. Ooh, you've probably been taught that being emotional is a dumb thing and that only chicks are emotional. (laughs) Oh, my God. And when I was going for my walk this morning, I was thinking about the willingness to suck. The willingness to just do a face plant, the willingness to not have the words, to not know what you're going to talk about. Most Fridays, I just have a pretty broad outline of what I'm going to talk about. I'm a natural channel. I have all the psychic gifts and I still have a willingness to suck. And I was thinking about that Wayne's world where they were talking about the suck cut. God, you guys are going to have to look that up on YouTube, the suck cut. Like, are you willing to just completely suck at what it is that you do? And do you know that this deep level of vulnerability and, you know, this willingness to just be vulnerable and be yourself and laugh at your own foibles and like not be perfect by anybody's stretch of the imagination is darling. It's just darling. People love it. That's why we like reality TV. We want to see people face plant. We do. (laughs) Some people want to see them face plant because of a, you know, sort of a throwing the Christians to the lions kind of thing. And then a lot of people just want to see people being themselves. And so that's what I want for you. The most confident people in the world. The most confident people in the world are the ones who are willing and able to just love themselves through all of the face plants, because that's what life is about. It's not about being perfect. It's not about showing up absolutely perfect all the time. It's the willingness to just suck. (laughs) And that's how you build your level of competence which builds your level of confidence. 
And so we're heading into the first break, if you can believe it. So after the break, we're going to talk about the mindset of a confident woman. We're going to talk about the mindset of a confident woman. And so if you're listening to this, whatever platform you're listening to this on or watching it on, I would love for you to tag some people that you would love to see more confident in their lives and more confident in their business. Or maybe you think they're confident as fuck and you want them to watch this and say, hey, you know what? I've been watching you. This is how you show up. This is how you give me inspiration. Whichever way, I want to see a thumbs up wherever you are in the world. And I will see you after the break. You've been listening to Big Fat Lies on Inspired Choices Network. My name is Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Have you ever said to yourself, I knew I shouldn't do that? How did that feel? What did you make that mean about you? Business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis stands for you being deliciously ambitious, passionately productive, oh so profitable, and creating a life that is truly delightful in every area. Tune in to Big Fat Lies every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central, and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com to open your eyes to the big fat lies that are keeping business owners from being the bright shining beacons they came here to be. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspire Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. Or send a question or comment to Jennifer at jennifercramerlewis.com. I love it. So we're back. And before the break, we were talking about being self centered. <laughs> Probably as a little kid, your parents said to you, God, you're the most self centered little person ever. And aren't they? Aren't little kids just so self centered? And it's beautiful. Like if we step away from our conditioning, you have to be really confident to decide that you're going to move from like crawling to standing. And then another deep level of confidence from standing, holding on to things or what they call cruising, I think they call it, where you're just like holding on to stuff to walk around the room. And, you know, another level of confidence and you find one of those push toys and you teach yourself how to walk with one of those push toys. And this is what confidence is. It's a deep sense of self. And so the only person who's going to get confident is you. It's you. And it's so important. Like you think about it, you know, like my mission, you know, to build generations of female wealth where women are like, yeah, I'm a millionaire. I'm a multimillionaire. And now my daughter's a millionaire and my granddaughter's a millionaire. What would that be like? What would it be like? Or a deca millionaire? Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> That'd be freaking awesome. Let's do it. But you have to believe in yourself. You have to be in your own energetic field instead of being dancing around in other people's energetic fields, trying to find yourself and what it is that you need to do. It's not going to work for you. Get in your own body. Get in your own energetic field. And if you don't know how to do that, just feel into your own heart. Feel into it. And then call your energy streams home to you. Just say, get home, guys. Get home. 
So we're going to talk about that in the next segment. Right now, we're going to talk about the mindset of a confident woman. What does a confident woman do? The first thing that I really want to talk to you guys about is letting it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let everything go that doesn't feel juicy to you. I mean, does this feel juicy? Does this feel like I want to do it? Does it feel like I have energy for it? Are great questions for you to ask, uh, especially if you're a generator or a manifesting generator energy type in human design. So if you don't know anything about human design, you can go pull your chart. You can Google or use any web browser that you want for free human design chart and find out what your energy type is. Because manifesting generators and generators need to make sure that they have energy for the thing that is the things that they're doing. And if they don't have energy for them, they're not doing the correct things. So you got to let go everything, everything that's not energizing you because you're actually here to be the builders of a new reality the builders of a new future and you know manifestors like basically all the energy types if it doesn't feel like you have energy for it and it doesn't make you feel like turned on and switched on and that you just really want to go for it like whatever it is that you're doing whoever it is that you're doing then just don't don't guys just don't. And I, in the previous section, I talked about how, you know, our relationships with men are changing. You know, we're no longer the enablers. We're no longer like, oh, honey, I made dinner, you know, because they're not fulfilling their end of the bargain on that old paradigm either. They're like, where's dinner? And you're like, well, wait a minute. I've been at work all day too. Where's dinner? One of us has got to make dinner. Come on now. Uh, I read another article, it was so interesting. And they're saying with, uh, you know, with people working from home, that the women who are working from home are having to do way more work. So they're doing their full work day. And then because they're at home, they're doing laundry and they're doing dishes and they're making beds and they're doing gardening and they're, you know, doing stuff for the kids and, you know, just all of the things. And the men who are working from home are really still looking at the wives as though they're the, you know, the person who says what goes next. So interesting. So, so interesting. And, you know, even if you're like super confident in what it is that you're doing, if you're diffuse, do you guys get, do you know what I mean? If you're diffuse in your energy, you know, if you're like running all over the place, you're like taking your clients. Okay. I have a client at one o'clock that goes to two o'clock. And then at two 15, I have to do all of these things before my next client that starts at two 30, then your energy gets diffuse. Does that feel juicy or does it actually feel like you're a slave to your reality? So confidence, again, if it's not juicy for you to be doing whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing, and I would get right down to brass tacks. Does it feel juicy to do the dishes? Yes or no. Does it feel juicy to do the laundry? Yes or no. Does it feel juicy to do your husband right now? Yes or no. And be very, very down to brass tacks and start to inspect that. Inspect it for yourself because there may be reasons or big fat lies installed on your operating system about all of those things. And the more you inspect them and the more you get into your own body when you're inspecting them, instead of like going over there and saying, oh, well, you know, what will my family think if I have a live in caregiver? Or if I have a maid, or, you know, if I divorce my husband because he's not fulfilling on his part of the bargain of what it feels like to be in this weird new earth, you know, like it's just so important for your level of confidence, you guys, for you to be doing the things that make you feel juicy. Whatever juicy is, like maybe it's a turn on, maybe it's a turn on energy for you, or maybe it's just a real enriched energy 
you know, like juicy makes me think of like biting into a cherry right off the cherry tree, like going down. I have a cherry tree and going right down there and eating cherries right off the cherry tree. You know, like they like burst when you bite into them. Your life can be like that. It can be like so juicy, so delicious, so <sighs> fulfilling, fulfilling, you guys. And that's so important. Like you can't actually fulfill on your life's mission if you're not embodied. You guys get that, right? If you don't actually have a point of view about what your life's mission is, if you don't have deep desire, if you don't have commitment to you, then good luck building the confidence because you have to have a deep level of commitment and desire. You know, that is your personality needs to come through. And then people are like, wow, she has a deep level of commitment and desire. She is on track. She is on fire. And then they can get behind your mission because your energy matches your mission. Do you get that? Have you ever met somebody and they're like, blah, 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 talking about something and you're like, God, I can't even see that person doing that. You know, so whatever they're talking about doesn't match the energy of what their body is doing or saying or feeling. You know, they're distracted. They're not embodied. They're not self-centered. And so it's so, so interesting, guys. You have to have a deep level of commitment and desire to be able to fulfill on a mission of having deep wealth, whatever that is for you. You know, I tend to work with people who already have a business they're already bringing in 25 or 30,000 a month and they want to bump it they want to make over a million this year and we can do it we can do it and so we have to know what that desire is and it's going to be very 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 personal to you and in some cases, it can be, it was interesting, um, Bill Myers inspires is the show before me. And he was talking about, he's a, a, a multi-talented person. And he was talking about somebody told him that he didn't have any musical talent. And so he plays the bass, he sings, he's an actor, oh, he's so elegant and gorgeous. And so it can be almost a vindictive thing. You can be like, well, fuck you, I'm going to do it anyways. But that's pushing off on somebody that's still in someone else's energy field instead of choosing what your energy field would like. And so you're going to have to practice. And that's part of my shamanic training. That's part of my quantum training is to help you know how you manipulate the quantum field by being in your own energetic field, by being deeply confident, by doing the work to become deeply confident. First, you have to be competent. <laughs> you have to be mentally competent. And oh my goodness, in today's world being mentally competent is that's gosh it's it's really the heavy lifting right now to be mentally competent you know to be in your own personality even to stick to your guns about choices that you're making to be like okay well i've checked in with my body this is my choice on this pertinent public matter that everybody seems to be paying attention to and wants to know what I'm doing with my body. You got to stick to your guns, guys. And the best way to do that is to be in your own energy field and in your own energy field mentally as well. And so the best way to do that is to keep asking yourself, does this make me feel juicy? Do I have the energy for this? Do I have the energy for this? And if you don't have the energy for it, please don't do it. Like I have been sleeping and sleeping and sleeping and sleeping because that's what my body wants to do during this great upgrade 
and, you know, so that I can be on for you guys so that I can facilitate my clients and help them reach their heights, their levels of excellence, their levels of confidence. I need to actually fuel my own body. And so all my body really wants to do these days is sleep and then go for my walk where I have all of these amazing horses and llamas and like beautiful breeze and trees is so nourishing. So we're heading into another break. After the break, I'm going to talk about the energy of a confident woman and what is required to maintain your energy. And I'm giving you some pre-hints, as I always do. And then also the emotional mastery, the emotional mastery of a confident woman. And so I'm going to invite you to join me after the break. My name is Jennifer Kramer Lewis. You have been listening to Big Fat Lies on Inspired Choices Network. Have you ever said to yourself, I knew I shouldn't do that? How did that feel? What did you make that mean about you? Business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis stands for you being deliciously ambitious, passionately productive, oh so profitable, and creating a life that is truly delightful in every area. Tune in to Big Fat Lies every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central, and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com to open your eyes to the big fat lies that are keeping business owners from being the bright shining beacons they came here to be. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com or send a question or comment to jennifer at jennifercramerlewis.com. Oh, we're having fun in the chat room. Someone's chair dancing to, uh, I think it was to Bill and his beautiful bass. Ah, and it's just, it's really, really important for you to not focus on what's wrong. Like you guys get that, right? We're so programmed to correct we're so programmed to correct. And so in order to correct them, we need to just like nitpick ourselves. And I'm here to say like, fuck that. Like really, fuck nitpicking yourself. What do you love? What do you love about you? Like, oh, so weird. Let me model this for you. One of the things that I love about me is glamour. <laughs> crazy I just I remember being so young and just loving beauty magazines and it's so funny the universe doesn't always give you what you want but you definitely get what you need I grew up in an equestrian family and so my mom was like anti-glamour she was like what do you want to wear that makeup for and oh god you're overdressed and you know I just love fashion I love beauty I love putting makeup on I love the the ritual of doing my hair I love the ritual of putting my face on and I love the ritual of like choosing an outfit that makes me happy and so that's one of the things that I love about me and I really want you to start looking at those places and spaces where you feel like you have a level of competence like I'm good at doing my hair. I'm good at other people's hair. I'm good at putting makeup on. I'm good at putting other people's makeup on. I'm really good at talking to dead people. <laughs> and they're like, hello, 
can we talk to you? I'm like, wait a minute. I'm going to talk to you at 10 o'clock when my client session is on. Maybe don't bang on my door at 730 in the morning. So, so interesting. Um, so where is your level of competence? And so I think the competence has been given a bad rap. <laughs> People are like competence. They're like, oh, I can tie my shoes. I'm competent. And what if competence is way more than that? Way more. So like, think about it. Maybe you're on like an episode of Deadliest Catch. And this is your like first time on one of those deep sea trawlers or whatever. And, you know, you're out in like huge waves and you have crew with you that are competent. You're like, oh, my fucking God, thank you for being competent because you can just relax. You know, you're surrounded by people who know what they're doing. And there's a level of incompetence on this planet. <laughs> it's so weird. And so you might be thinking, well, Jennifer, you were talking about the willingness to suck. And now you're talking about competence. And now you're talking about incompetence. Well, guess what? You build your competence from your willingness to suck. And so, of course, there's places right now that you suck and you know what they are. I know the places that I suck. And so when we start looking at those places where we suck, then what happens energetically is we create more of what we're resisting. We create more of what we focus on. And so what I'm recommending, not that you completely ignore the areas that you suck, what I'm going to notice for you so that you can notice it is there's places where you are building a level of competence that's valuable. So maybe even write those down right now. Make, make a list. You know how much I love lists of places where you're building a level of competence. You might even call it places where I'm building a level of competence. And you don't need to monetize all of those places you don't need to you know so say you're building a level of competence in latin dance you know are you going to become a professional latin dance instructor maybe not maybe it just fills your cup <laughs> maybe it just fills your cup so that you can go and do the things that you're here to do and you know and you do have of a very specific life's mission on your human design chart and the more that you can know about it and the more that you can question what you're really here to be and do what your actual talents are that you can monetize that's on your human design chart too it's very very interesting and so i would love for you to have energetic mastery with who it is that you came here to be like what did you come here to be and you know what energy did you come here to embody and this week oh my goodness art always imitates life I just was really really pushed into a level of heaviness and fear and you know just so much weirdness in my life this week. I just had to sleep and sleep and sleep. I'm not here to be afraid. I'm here to actually have delight. It's written right in my chart, delight and serendipity and like meeting cool people and just having so much fun and laughing and having pleasure. And, you know, like flirting with like new possibilities and new people and, you know, just really being a ray of sunshine. This is what I'm here to be. And so you're going to be here to do something, be and do something very specific to you. And once you know what that energetic signature is, then you can have energetic mastery because anything that doesn't match that is not for you. You guys get that, right? Anything that doesn't match this key frequency that you're here to be and do, and that's your personality sun. Have you ever said to yourself, I knew I shouldn't do that? How did that feel? What did you make that mean about you? 
business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis, stands for you being deliciously ambitious, passionately productive, oh so profitable, and creating a life that is truly delightful in every area. Tune in to Big Fat Lies every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central, and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com to open your eyes to the big fat lies that are keeping business owners from being the bright shining beacons they came here to be. This is Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com or send a question or comment to jennifer at jennifercramerlewis.com. All right, well, we're back. It's a windy Friday afternoon in paradise. <laughs> also known as the Okanagan Valley in British Columbia, Canada. And I am not sure where I got cut off. So I was talking about embodiment of confidence, embodiment of confidence. And you have to start at competence, guys. And competence isn't, the competence has a bad rap. It really, really does have a bad rap. And so looking at the places where it's juicy to build mastery, is juicy for you. You have the energy for it. You guys get that, right? You need to have the energy for it. So it's like in the previous section, we were talking about like housework and having the energy for it, not having the energy for it and how this new paradigm is requiring people to step up or go away. <laughs> So have a look at that for yourself. You don't have to be in any place or space that doesn't work for you. You know, I see people, my clients, you know, my friends, and, you know, people are just really, really writing their own prescription for confidence to come into their lives. And so you probably already know the places and spaces where you would like to be more confident. And please don't choose that place where you kind of feel like you need to fix a whole lot of stuff, because in most cases, it's going to be your innate talents. Your innate talents are the places and spaces where you're going to have confidence or you can build them. And that's written very specifically in your human design chart. A whole channel of talent was from the spleen all the way up to the throat and I have it conscious and so this is one of the things that I do know about myself is when I look at someone's energy from a shamanic standpoint and from a quantum standpoint with all of my psychic gifts and then the human design chart really really helps me show you what I'm already aware of in your energetic field what's going to be easy for you to build confidence build competence in and just really show the world what you came here to be and do like how fun is that do you want to show the world what you came here to be and do and the best way to do that is to start to build competence like deep competence like I was talking about uh you know a deep sea vessel you know, you want deck crew that's competent. You want the captain to be competent. You want the engine room crew to be competent. You know, and if you're a passenger, you want everybody to be competent. You want them to know where the, everything is. And competence, like just, it's so quiet, isn't it? It's like you don't have to prove competence. There's no proving energy and competence. People are just competent or they're not. You can even ask your, yourself, you can put your hand on your heart and be like, okay, do I feel competent? And it's just so quiet. If you do feel competent, then you're competent. It's easy. And life's not supposed to be difficult, you guys, even with everything we're going through, even with everything we're going through, we can just like change our perspective a tiny bit. Like I slept a lot this week with all of this heavy energy swirling around me. I was like, nope. I'm just here to laugh. I'm just here to have fun. 
I'm just here to like have all of these energetic perspectives that people can use to brighten themselves, to be the sun, you know, just to shine on people and let them know everything's going to be okay. All they need to do is follow their design. And there is a design and you designed it before you incarnated in this body. So it's just so very interesting, you guys. So, so very interesting. So we haven't really talked about emotional mastery. And so what's required for emotional mastery? Oh, I see my internet's getting a little weird, but we're going to keep going. Uh, emotional mastery, like you probably already know what your core emotion is, like your default emotion when life isn't going well for you. It's actually written in your human design chart, believe it or not. So for people like me, generate, I'm a manifesting generator and generators in general, which is 70% of the population, uh, is frustration. Like fr it just makes you want to grind your teeth. Ah! Frustration. And then manifesting generators get pissed. So they're angry and frustrated at the same time. And so that's like the core frequency, the core not self frequency is frustration. So anything that makes me frustrated or super pissed off is me not being myself, me not tapping into the places and spaces where I have a deep level of competence and confidence and, you know, belief in myself. Most likely, I'm like wandering around in other people's energy fields, and I'm not self-centered. I'm not centered in myself when that frustration comes through, when that anger comes through. And then if you're a projector energy type, it's bitterness. They're like, everything's going shitty. My life is shitty. Life is shitty. I don't even know why I'm here. And it's like you can feel that poison, that bile in your belly. And, you know, please don't bile it out on people, but you, I'm sure you've done that. And it's okay. Everybody has. <laughs> so if that bile is building in your belly, you know, you got to do something. You got to get one back in your energy field. And two, you got to ask questions, you know, like, what do I need to do? Do I need to dance? Do I need to sing? Like, what is the high frequency that can come out of my body that will burn up all this bile? You just burn it up. Maybe you need to sing Celine Dion at the top of your lungs. Or maybe you even need to sing like some like, you know, house of pain at the top of your lungs. <laughs> oh, it'd be so awesome. And just really or scream in the car. The car scream. Or scream in your pillow or scream underwater in the bathtub. Just like get that energy out of your body. And if you're a manifester, this anger, it's furious energy because they're like here to be kings and queens. Like everybody just fucking line up. Do as you're freaking told, a manifester would love to tell you guys. And they're here to do that. They're here to just like create a whole new planet within this planet. And so, you know, if people aren't getting out of their way, then they can get really, really angry. And so they're here actually to feel peace. And projectors are here to feel satisfied, or not satisfied, successful. So they're like, you know, like those 1980s movies, The Secret of My Success and all of those ones. That's a, pro a projector energy. And, you know, peace is, you know, it's like a warrior, Zen warrior master. You know, they can chop your head off, but they're so Zen about it. It's like, they're like, mm, no, come at me again. I'll just step aside. Come at me again. I'll just step aside. I have this deep level of peace inside my body. I don't need to chop your head off. I part of me would like to, but I'm so zen about it. I don't even need to do that. And then the rarest energy type uh, are called reflectors, and they just have a deep sense of disappointment. They're like, God, you guys, you can do better. You can do better. I can do better. We can do better. And that's what the energy type of a reflector in the not self has a sense of just dis disappointment. It's like, fuck, what's the point? And so those are the things that you're going to feel when you're not self based on your energy type. 
And so you're going to need to do some energy healing. And you're going to need to do it with somebody who has some competency in what it is that they're doing. They're not just going to wave their hands over top of your body and make sure that you're okay. Like you might feel incrementally better every session that you have. But if you've had a deep level of trauma, if you've had lifetimes of trauma, you know, and you can tell, you can actually talk to your ancestors and say, well, how many lifetimes of shit have we got going on here? And they can tell you, they can give you this information and I can help you translate. So, so interesting. And so these instant fixes, these like, oh, you know, like go and, you know, have some sort of ceremony, take some tea, barf a few times and you're better. It doesn't work, guys. It doesn't work because you still have to go back to your regular life. You have to have this deep level of mastery. Have you ever said to yourself, I knew I shouldn't do that. How did that feel? What did you make that mean about you? Business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis, stands for you being deliciously ambitious, passionately productive, oh so profitable, and creating a life that is truly delightful in every area. Tune in to Big Fat Lies every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central, and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com to open your eyes to the big fat lies that are keeping business owners from being the bright shining beacons they came here to be. <laughs> well, I think what we're going to do is we are going to make this a 15 minute episode because we are seeing some interesting stuff happening with the internet here in paradise. And so my invitation for you guys is to join me next week. And next week, we're going to talk about an interesting topic. And I haven't actually broached this topic in the show yet. We're going to talk about your ancestors and wealth. And so the big fat lie is my ancestors have nothing to do with my level of income or my level of wealth. I'm not really sure what I'm going to call it. I haven't actually posted it yet, but I got it this morning when I was on my walk. And I think most people don't actually spend a lot of time talking about their ancestors and really connecting with their ancestors. There are some cultures, obviously, who revere their ancestors and really are connected to them. But I would say in North America and in most parts of the Western world, ancestors are kind of like, oh, yeah, those are dead people. What do they have to do with my level of income and my level of wealth that I can have in my body? And can they actually bring me more money? Uh, yeah, they can. <laughs> they can. And they do have a deep point of view about you being happy, healthy, wealthy, and wise. And so why wouldn't we seek their counsel? They know exactly what you need to do in order to be able to be happy, healthy, wealthy, and wise. And, you know, even if they were like complete jerks in the previous lifetime, they're so kind now that they've crossed over. So kind and so helpful. So my invitation for you is to join me at 1 o'clock Pacific next week, where hopefully we will have excellent internet. And I just love it that you're showing up. I love it that you're listening. Thank you so much for joining me on Inspired Choices Network. My name is Jennifer Kramer Lewis, and this has been the Big Fat Lies Show. <laughs> See you next week. Thank you for listening to Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman, and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Join us next week at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central, and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until next week, Jennifer invites you to laugh at limitation and live life delightfully by opening your eyes to the Big Fat Lies. Thank you for listening to Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman, and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Join us next week at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central, and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until next week, Jennifer invites you to laugh at limitation and live life delightfully 
by opening your eyes to the big fat lies. Thank you for listening to Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Join us next week at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until next week, Jennifer invites you to laugh at limitation and live life delightfully by opening your eyes to the Big Fat Lies. Thank you for listening to Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Join us next week at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until next week, Jennifer invites you to laugh at limitation and live life delightfully by opening your eyes to the Big Fat Lies.